This video will present solutions to the VCE 2020 Mathematical Methods Written Examination 2, Section B, Question 4. This question has us working extensively with the function f of x equals 2x times e to the power of 1 take x squared. I'm going to define this function as f of x on my class pad. In part A, we need to find the slope of the tangent to the graph of y equals f of x at the point where x equals 1. I'm going to do this by finding f dashed 1 using my class pad. Part B. We now need to find the obtuse angle that this tangent makes with the positive x-axis using the relationship m equals tan theta. Based on this, I need to find the arc tan of minus 2, with my class pad working in degrees. As we are asked for the obtuse angle to the nearest degree, then the answer is 180 minus 63, which is 117 degrees. Part C. For the slope of the tangent at the point where x equals p, I can edit the class pad command I used in part A, changing the point 1 to point p. Part D, Part 1. To find the value of P for which the tangent at P is perpendicular to the tangent at X equals 1, we can equate the expression found in Part C to 0 0.5, which is the negative reciprocal of the value of minus 2, which was the value of the tangent slope found in Part A. As p is between 0 and 3, our answer is p equals 0 0.655. Part D, Part 2. To answer this question, I will first find the equation of the tangent to the graph of f at the point where x equals 1, and also at the point where x equals 0 0.655, the value I found in Part 1. I'll do that using the class pad's tan line command. This command can be duplicated and edited to obtain the tangent at the point P found previously. Equating these expressions generates an equation that can be solved to find the x-coordinate of the tangent's intersection point. The y-coordinate of the intersection point can be found by back substituting this x-value into either of the tangent expressions.
Part E, to find the equation of a line through two points, I'm going to use a function that I have previously defined on my class pad called EOL for equation of line. The creation of user-defined functions prior to exams such as this is highly recommended. A video that accompanies this one explains how to create the user-defined function EOL and a number of other functions that are very useful in this type of exam. First, I will input my function EOL from the catalogue accessed via the keyboard down arrow. Within the catalogue, I am going to use only the user defined options. The EOL function requires four inputs, being the X and Y coordinates of the two points on the line. The first point is 0, f of 0, and the second point is n, f of n. The entry of these is going to be helped by the user defined catalogue that contains the function f. With the inclusion of the y equals, this is the equation of the line segment. I am going to define this function as g of x for later use in this question. Part E, Part 2. With the hard work done, this EOL command can be modified to obtain the equation of the line segment between the points n, f of n and 3, f of 3. Part E, Part 3. Now we are looking for the n value such that the two areas shaded in the diagram are equal. The area of the left region between f of x and the line segment defined as g of x can be expressed as the definite integral from 0 to n of f of x minus g of x dx. We can equate this to the definite integral from n to 3 of h of x minus f of x dx. This equation we need to solve for n. Given that n is between 1 and 3, our answer is 1.088 to 3 decimal places.